hopefully I can be heard over the tractor in the background. I am so, so excited. It looks like such an incredibly simple thing. <laughs> but this is actually the beginning of the Paddock Paradise system. I'm so excited! Um, <laughs> essentially, we will be removing the topsoil and then underneath we'll either be on sand or on clay, we'll see. Um, we'll use the topsoil for garden beds and things like that. But around here we'll be putting up another layer of fence and the goats will be able to run around this all freely. And they will have a milking parlor over here, eventually. I don't know exactly how quickly. There hopefully will be a greenhouse attached to the house there. Um, and then this will let them access that milking parlor. There'll be a gate there. And then they will have a run-in shelter either haven't decided either here, but actually more likely over here will be where their shelter is um, because it'll give them south facing. That, that over there makes one track that can be two. So the posts are in the center of it and that'll allow us to let the does run the whole of both of these loops as a as one complete group and or in the spring when we need to separate out bucklings they'll still be able to see and smell mom etc but they can be right over there allowing us to divide this when it's necessary i'm super super excited about this then there's a track that goes up to the barn and there are tracks around the rest of the property as well this for now remains the milking parlor. Um, so a lot of these things are set up to let us, I feel like I'm getting on, to let us move the goats around as necessary too. By having a lane here, there's the gate there of course, um, and a gate on the other side of the barn, which would allow us to move goats over to this other field if need be. Um, one of the reasons we set up a couple of tracks is because we know that we might encounter some drainage issues in places. Um, we're not going to, as a lot of Michigan is on sandy loam, the sand is really good draining. So the, the majority of the track should drain pretty well, but we want to be able to move a group over to another loop. Jim is currently widening that track out a little um, so that if there's a drainage issue say over there we can move them to a neighboring field and put down the appropriate um, sand or rock geotextile la layers whatever it is that we need to address any drainage issues if those come up for the start of these track systems they'll be T post and um, high tensile wire for the goats and poly rope for the horses initially that will allow us to tweak things if we decide that it's too wide or if it's too narrow um, if we decide we want tracks moved into slightly different places all those different things by putting in T posts with poly wire and for the horses and um, high tensile for the goats by doing that initially we can move things if the system needs any tweaking which the majority of farm systems as you build them you always have awesome ideas and then something you know plays out a little different than you anticipate it so that's why that's intended to be um, movable at first that could be too loud I don't know yet um, but hopefully I can still be heard. This is going to be widened up to almost being at the point of that post because this one is going to be a horse track on the outside and then goat track on the inside. And the bucks field will cut across right here and so they'll be in this loop over here. The horses will be able to follow this entire thing. There's where the goats are currently. 
and we are looking forward to getting them out and you know them being able to run about freely and play from here you can see over what will be the bucks first field again we want kind of a, a plan a and a plan b um, initially the bucks are going to go there because the shelter is already built so i only need to clean it out and so there's a track system over there um, and then around the whole of that field, which looks deceptively small from here, it's actually probably 40% of the total property, maybe maybe half of the total property. Um, but from this from this vantage point, it doesn't look as big as it is. Um, but there's a track the whole way around that is intended for horses there. So hopefully geldings or male horses out that direction on the outside loop we will put a physical fence there and have a gap and then mares over on this side on the outside loop and um, as I said there's a second track that'll be where the bucks are hopefully set up permanently um, but they're set up there for now because we still have to build an additional run-in shelter for them along with a couple of other structures. The does need a run-in structure, the bucks need a run-in structure, and we want to offer horse boarding, so we're going to need at least one more run-in structure for horses. Um, they will probably all be tall enough for horses. It's just more logical to make the systems flexible so that if we do decide to move a group for any given reason. What we want to be able to do is open up gates and just have strips of grazing at optimal times of the year. When that's optimal grazing, we can just open up the strip and let them in. And so that strip of grazing will attach to their track. On the track itself, the premise is that you have hay in one, two, maybe even three places typically kind of a variety of hay all of them good quality for them but that way they have some choice you also offer a couple of free choice salts which are at different spots on the track and water at different places on the track the point of putting those staggered apart is to encourage the animals to keep moving around so that, that way they get plenty of exercise it is um, reported to be incredibly beneficial for their hooves. On the goat's track, we are also going to put a bridge that's fairly steep that'll have either roofing shingles or um, sand in paint, but something coarse in order to give them a little bit of a sandpaper effect. <laughs> Um, and that, that is to reduce the number of trims that they need because they honestly need to be trimmed weekly, which is a lot with a herd our size. So I am so excited. But there will be a shelter here too. Ah, things are actually happening.